And now Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu embarked on a two-day visit to Cyprus, trending the bonds of the trilateral alliance with Greece and Cyprus right ahead of his meeting with Erdogan. Our commitment to democracy and our common interest in the region to fight radicalism, to fight terrorism, to fight uh, those who don't share our worldview and want to destroy our world. Uh, the combination of these things has made this, uh, uh, this uh, association, this partnership real, and it uh, becomes stronger with each passing year. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu held a meeting with Cyprus President Nikos Christodoulidis as part of his two-day visit to the neighboring island nation. This visit marks his first international trip in nearly six months and kicks off a series of planned trips to New York, the Czech Republic, Turkey, Morocco and China. Netanyahu's visit to Cyprus signals a significant trend in of ties between Israel, Cyprus and Greece, showcasing the vitality of their trilateral alliance. This visit comes at a crucial juncture as Israel seeks to mend strain relations with Turkey. During his visit, Netanyahu highlighted the achievements of the alliance, emphasizing advancements in economic cooperation, tourism and security collaborations. Notably, energy, particularly the development of natural gas resources in the region, took center stage in discussions. Israel and Cyprus are in talks regarding an electrical link that will interconnect Cyprus with both Greece and the broader Europe and potentially extend from Cyprus to Israel and even to Eastern nations. The Israel-Greece-Cyprus partnership gained momentum amid strained relations between Israel and Turkey, partly due to historical tensions between ethnic Greeks and Turks. In the meeting, Netanyahu suggested an option that Israel, Cyprus and Greece would purchase a super tanker plane to be used by the three countries for firefighting. And continue thanking the president of Cyprus for thwarting terrorist attacks against Israeli targets on the island.